It's 2018, December the 16th. It is about half past three in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to do a, an irregular hike. We're going to try to find the Tierkloof waterfall. Um, almost directly north from us at the moment, in shot, is the old toll house that's burned down in the recent 2018 fires near George. Um, we are on the Montague Pass Road and turning towards the east. And that's the path we're going to follow. Um, I'm not familiar with this path. Apparently, it will go across that hill according to all I've been told, but we'll have to see when we get there. Okay, here it goes. It is now about 10 to 3 um, and we've reached a T junction. And this is the way looking forward coming down the hill. There's the river at the bottom and looking straight up the hill there's a pylon ahead of us and George Peak in the background. And then looking to the left hand side, turning north, that's the path we're deciding to follow. There's one of the old uh, foot tracker markers along the way, a pile of stones that's been painted white. Turning around further, that's up the hill towards the west. That's the path that we came. Coming down the hill with all the fire damage, the path is not very clear. My advice is that you rather look further ahead, farther ahead, um, than right down in front at your feet. Um, so you can get a better idea of which direction to go. Um, turning around further towards the southwest, there's another foot tracker marker. And that's towards the south. And coming back around, following the horizon to the east, there's the pylon again. All right. It is just before three o'clock. Um, we've reached the river. This is the way straight across the river, turning north. There's one branch of the river coming in. And immediately next to it, there's another branch coming in. That's the path along which we came. Not very clear. Turning all the way around. The opposite side of the river, the opposite, opposite bank gets very steep towards the south. We've decided not to go that way. Although we're not quite sure where the path goes, we've decided to turn north and head up river. It's just about three o'clock now and turning towards the west there seems to be a path coming in from our left hand side. And this might be the path that comes down from the old toll house directly, the one that we did not choose today. Turning to the north, that's up river and then the path apparently goes over this little rock patch over here, up on the other side. The path coming up the river is not very clear. As you can see, we had to do a bit of bundu bashing to get to this point, just for about five meters or so. Turning towards the east and going across the river. There we go. This is just on the other side of the river. The way ahead looks like that, going uphill. It is a much clearer path than what we've been traveling on at the moment. Turning around that southwest, turning around to the west. Here is the river that we've just crossed. There's that rock patch that I mentioned. And turning around north up the river and through the bushes back towards the east, up the hill, and southeast.
that's about 10 past 3 and uh, that's the way ahead towards the east still almost at the last bit of the last stretch of the first incline the first uphill turning around to south going around to the southwest there about in the middle of the frame you can see three white piles of rocks those are the foot tracker markers that I referred to previously I suspect we came out between the bottom two of them and turning around up the hill trying to find a path I can't really see on the screen with all the ambient light at the moment but I think in the middle of the screen at the moment you can see the path that we follow down and then just a little bit more towards the right hand side of that this is the old toll house it also has a path which you could follow but apparently the bottom part of that is very steep turning around further it's about northwest up the valley for the north showing the top of the mountains there we're not going all the way to the top thankfully because this uphill was quite sufficient thank you Right, going ahead. This is just a couple of paces further up the hill. Um, I think this is a better spot to take in the landmarks. Right in front, you can see the Ifim Tower on the hill and turning around towards the north. Some pylons along the way. So we're heading towards them and up the hill towards the railway line not quite sure how clear the railway line is at the moment in the picture it's on the farther hill running horizontally and then we want to head somewhere that way today to the foot tracker, foot tracker markers following the line some fine plantations in the background and, and literally a couple of meters down the road again here is a two track road going down past the pylon town turning around towards the west that's the past that, that we've come along and up the hill there goes it the part of the two track road it seems to fizzle out and pushes up there and all the way around back to the east where we're heading it's about just past quarter past three We've hit uh, T-junction, turning to our left-hand side, going up the hill now. That's about northeast, heading towards George Peak on the right-hand side over there, furthest peak on the right-hand side. Turning around, it's about north, coming around to the west. That's the path along which we've come. And that's towards the southeast T track road, probably meeting up the other T track road, going past the pylon. There's the town again towards the south. Coming around, there's the FM Tower, and back the way we're heading. There we go. about 25 past 3 that's the way ahead and we've just reached on the right hand side of the road a marker that says Craddock Pass the yellow arrow to the left Craddock Pass is that old foot tracker pass that I refer to with the white rocks the white piles of rocks all along the way this is the way we've come and turning around further Show me, there apparently is a path down. Oh, yes, here it is. Okay. 
This is another couple of meters along the road. Here's a turn off towards the left hand side up the hill. That's actually not the way to go. Um, that's the way we've come. Turning around further around. There's the town and the pylon. And the pine plantation. And the FM tower behind the branches. I don't think you can see it. And going on ahead. Sure. It's about to the right hand side of the road and just behind it is the FM tower turning around towards the north. There's a sign that says George Peak, Craddock Peak to the right hand side following the road that we're going turning around towards the west along the way that we've come um, and around further to the south next to the pole in the to the by the side of the road there's a path that goes down another path that goes down and let me just get a better shot behind the bushes over there there's a pylon if you follow this path down to the pylon and then down into the valley to the left across two streams and then you'll come up on the opposite side following the diagonal dirt road going to the edge of the pine plantation and you just walk past there I don't know if you can see it in the shot I'll put directly in front of me now and on the opposite ridge, top of the ridge there are some hikers going up the hill as well towards the left hand side and that road goes down to the Vetcontain Cape Nature office complete the circle. There's the FM tower and the road ahead again. It's about 22.4 and just before I lose that shot, there's the FM tower. And just diagonally below it, towards the right hand side, there's a small building. That used to be a, I suppose, a depot house you could call it at the power railway station and a little bit further to the right let's see if I've got the shot right yeah it should be in shot there's a grey cylindrical structure and another one just behind it between the two pylons that used to be those used to be two water reservoirs um, eventually they were converted into a restaurant with a flat roof but um, eventually that fell into disrepair. Um, I presume the thatch roofs have burnt down in the recent fires of uh, last October 2018 and uh, I thought I'd just show you those landmarks so you can get your bearings a little bit better. Turning towards the south, there's the town. You know that pine forest by now. Um, that's the path we've come the hill and that's more or less towards the north and through the bushes over there horizontal brown line that's part of the railway line we're going up to the railway line but not that part we're going more towards the north okay that's the way ahead it is now about 10 to 4 um, this is the top of the hill Coming up the path, it's quite a steep climb, um, and then you T junction with the railway line, um, turning around. We're going towards the right hand side, to the what's the left hand side, towards the west along the railway line today. Turning around further, that's the west, and uh, that's quite an expansive view. You can see we've had quite an elevation gain. There's the pine forest. As you can see now we can see behind the pine forest where previously we couldn't. Following the path down the hill here. 
Where is it? There it is. You see it's relatively steep. There's a pylon at the bottom. Turning around. Coming up on the FM tower. There it is. And we're going to further the following horizon. Coming up to George Peak in the background behind the bush. Let's get out from that bridge. There's George Peak. to the railway line pointing north. This is on the railway line, there's a little sign that says George Peak, Crowley Peak. And you'll follow the railway line towards the east. Uh, just before the bend, you can see there in the distance. You turn off the railway line and go up the hill towards George and Crowley Peak. Turning around further, it's the south again from the town. Things should be fairly level for us now, further on to the Tearcliff waterfall. Um, one of my companions has just informed me that it's about three kilometers up to this point, uh, distance wise, and we've been doing about 2.4 kilometers an hour, um, just for reference. <laughs> 